You know what, there are a lot of things I love to do. I love to paint, I love to embroider. But what I told you, you could do both at the same time and you don't have to do either one. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this. Check this out. Now, if you take a close look at that, you're gonna say, hmm, that looks like it's embroidered. Oh, no, it looks like it's painted. Well, here is what it is. It's so cool. Actually, here's what they are. They're called Aunt Martha's ballpoint paint tubes. They're basically pens in a paint tube. And they are so neat because you can make them look like they're cross-stitched. Okay, follow me here. Okay, first of all, in order to do that, you have to have a pattern to follow. And oh my gosh, I love these designs. Look at these, these are so vintage. These are Aunt Martha's iron-on transfers, okay? There's a lot of different designs here, and I'm gonna, they are throwback. I mean, you're gonna look at these and go, oh, I remember my grandmother used to have these designs on her tea towels or on her tablecloth, or I used to have some of these designs on my underwear. <laughs> Seriously, when I was a little kid, Holly Hobby's in here somewhere. Um, just some really, really cute designs that I'm telling you will throw you back in time. They are awesome. So here's what I did is I followed, I used these transfers as a pattern. And you don't have to paint with these transfers. I mean, if you want to embroider, you can certainly do that, you know, but um, we have to start somewhere with, when we're painting. So this is the pattern that I selected. It actually had the word Friday on the bottom of it, and I didn't want to use that, so I just cut it off, and then I ironed it onto my tea towel. That's the other thing I love. These are so vintage, so wouldn't it be fun to put them on something that is vintage? These are, these are vintage tea towels. They're also um, Aunt Martha's vintage tea towels, but I'm telling you, if you take a look at these, these remind me, gosh, I so remember these hanging up in my mom's kitchen you know, growing up. So they're absolutely gorgeous. So here's what you want to do. Um, you want to pre-wash these after you get them before you start painting. And you can buy the paints individually. There, there's a whole bunch of colors that they come with. Um, and what you want to make sure that you get along with that is, is a hoop. You're going to need a hoop. And it's a flat hoop. This isn't a hoop that you're used to seeing. It has a flat bottom on it. And this is going to be the surface that we're going to paint on. And you're also going to need a blotter paper. I've already been using this one here, as you can see. So I'm just going to keep using it. And then what you do is after you iron on your design, make sure you follow the instructions for ironing on your design, by the way. You just lay your pattern on top of the hoop. It's just like stitching. It's just like embroidery or needlework or anything like that. You put it on there nice and taut, and then you tighten it up, just like that. And what I like to do is to have a, a spare napkin or paper towel or um, something that I can kind of test my, my paint pen on to get the paint going before I start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with black, and I'm going to follow this design right here because I want it to look like it's cross stitch on. So I'm going to use black and let me get my paint right here. And just to get it started, you want to make sure that you hold your paint tube upright. Try not to hold it at an angle like this. You want to hold it upright. And this just gets the paint started, okay? Like that. And then you just go in and you just draw. That's all you have to do is follow the pattern. Draw it this way. And it's a whole lot faster than counting cross stitches. It's washable. But like I said, you want to make sure that you pre-wash your fabric, OK? And you're going to go in and just follow the design, whatever design you choose, OK, just like that. and it dries really fast. Then, one thing you want to make sure you do is you clean the tip of your tube occasionally, okay? It gets the paint flowing. One thing, if you buy all the paints individual, you want to make sure that you end up with a ballpoint tip brush cleaner because you want to keep your tips really clean. And you want to might pick up some extra tips because you, they, they, you will go through some tips if you uh, 
if you get into this like, like I did. So I want to show you another color here. Let's go with the purple because I love the purple. And again, you just hold your tube upright. You don't even really have to squeeze, but if you need to, you can squeeze from the top down just to get the paint flowing. And you'll see it kind of go into the tip just to get the paint going. So let's go over here to our butterfly. And I just want to show you, I'm going to follow It's best to draw with it instead of try and paint with it. You don't have to stay in the lines if you don't want to. If you want to create something different and create your own pattern, you can certainly do that. So you just follow your pattern just like this. Try and keep your tube t upright. and you will have this awesome vintage design. Now let me show you this over here. This one, all we did is follow the pattern. We didn't fill it in, we left it all the same. Look at all the different colors and how vibrant and how beautiful they are. This one over here, same thing, follow the pattern. You can even write with them. Oh, as a matter of fact, let me show you something really cool. I was playing around because I wanted to see just how well you can write with them. You can write fine lines. <laughs> and this is the glitter color. They have some amazing colors. They have glitter colors, metallic colors. And like I said, you can get them all individually or look at all the different patterns here too. It's amazing. You can get them all individually or you can get this big old box full. This is called the color caddy. And check this out. Ooh, ah, all these different colors come in the kit, including the metallics and the glitters. A couple extra blotter papers, your brush cleaner, and some extra tips are included. Okay, so I know that you want to get started. You and Aunt Martha are all over this vintage look, so all you have to do is log on to Hirschners.com or just click on the link next door, and that'll take you right where you need to be, right alongside Aunt Martha.